Yo, uh, what's up guys? It's Bad Music Production, how you all doing? So today here in FL Studio, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the 808 sound. So here's a quick example of me using the 808 in this beat. So I'm going to show you, it. this is how it sounds like. So this is a beat I produced, it's called Changes and I used a very simple 808 technique in this beat. Now, when I imported the 808, it sounded bad, it sounded distorted. Now most of you guys, when you use 808s, you kind of have the similar issue. Oh by the way, if you want to check this beat out, go onto my YouTube, Path Beat, and it's called Changes. I just uploaded it four days ago so you can check it out. And uh, subscribe to, to my uh, channel as well on there, I'm just going to upload just pure beats, nothing else on that one. Uh, apart from that, going back to this. <laughs> Um, you know, most of you, when you import the 808, you kind of, you, you, you seem to get an issue with the 808 um, sounding distorted, over looping and stuff. And that's very common. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. So, um, you know, if, if I'll show you here. Okay, I've got loads of 808 sounds here. And when we put that into the beat and, you know, we go into the piano roll and we say, oh, so today... Uh, I mean, uh, you can already see it's, it's over looping, like it's sounding horrible. So, you know, you go here, here, there. But when you play it back, it, it just sounds distorted and horrible. Now most of you, you know, you'll go in here, you try to turn off the loops and trying to play around with the sample. Why is it still doing it? And then you kind of give up with the 808. And that's very common. Not producers have done that. I've done it myself. Um, it's actually a very simple, quick fix to that, believe it or not. What you need to do is click on the sample. And here in the instrument settings, click on that. Then what you need to do is basically, um, you need to change a few settings in here, in, in the um, envelope. Uh, you know, uh, to fix the sound the way it comes in and goes out. So what you need to do, basically, uh, kill the kill the attack. Basically, uh, the hold, put it halfway up. Kill the uh, DK time. Uh, also, you know, sustain level, drag it all the way down, and the and the uh, the release time. Kill that as well. And once you get that, um, when you play the loop now, that um, the eight oh eight will only play once it's been pressed in the piano roll. It won't overloop, it won't do anything else as you can see. So you know there's no there's no release time, there's no delay, nothing. It's just being played. When the key is pressed, that's when that's when it plays. So I'm gonna show you. As you can see, very simple. So as you can see, this is sounding all right. It's not sounding bad. We're getting there. So, you know, this is what we've got so far. Um, we, can, we can even, you know, make a quick beat. So you can get this drum kit by the way, it's got loads of great 808 sounds. Uh, go on to Producers Buzz, click on Drum Kits, Drum Samples, you'll get this page come up. A link for a kit called Trap Drums. And here there's a download link right here, just click on download and you can just download the file straight to your computer, drag it into FL Studio. All free guys, Producers Buzz. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button, we've got loads of great tutorials coming. Uh, so right now, uh, you know, I'm just going to make a quick trap beat since we're here. I'm just going to make a quick, a very quick, simple beat. Yeah. So I'm going to turn this off. 
Gonna make a quick trap beat. A very simple beat. Gonna show you how simple it is. So I'm going working with tempo 176. Basically, I'm going to divide that by two, so I'm going to give myself uh, give myself more space to work with. Very common, you know, when you tr tr drag a sample in, sounds distorted. First thing, reset the pitch. That doesn't help. Try to turn off the loop. That doesn't help. Go into here, into the channel settings, and just reset the main pitch. Now that should work. If that doesn't work, then something's gone wrong. Let's try to do this. Now, I think the sounds become corrupted. So let's try that again. Delete that. There we go. So the sound got corrupted as I uh, put it onto the other sound. I think it was stretching. That's the reason. But anyway, it doesn't matter now. Uh, so, you know, you reset the page and stuff. So there we go. So I'm going to take this away and kill it. I'm going to put the swing up a little bit. So I like that. I'm just going to put a quick 808 in here to show you guys how simple it is. So we, you know. Make sure you turn it on, obviously. Some reverb onto the snare. Not too much, just a little bit. So I like to overlay the kick, obviously over the over the, over the 808. Otherwise, there's no punch to it. So when you put that kick in there, it's got a bit of a punch. And you know, obviously, then you can add your other instruments and stuff and make different. But that is how simply simple it is to make a quick 808. Um, drum loop in FL Studio. I'm going to show you another example here that I've got. Um, started working on the song as well. Du, 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 was it? Du... Yeah, Heaven's Echo. Also use a similar 808. I think I use the same 808 in this beat. So listen to this. Sorry about the clipping. It's just doing that at the moment. I've disconnected my sound card, so I'm just using a load of CPU on my, on my laptop. But you know, I'm doing a quick tutorial, very simple one. So yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. This is Path Music Production. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.